Welcome to 60 Skills. Today we will discuss the God Levers. What are the God Levers? Well, specifically, these are the four letter combinations in the back of Barden's third book, Key, Key to the True Kabbalah. These letter combinations are, in fact, the most important part of that practice. Why is this? Well, as it turns out, when you're utilizing the letters, traditionally people train the mother letters, S-C-H, the letter A, the letter M, and the letter A umlaut. The reason for this is simple. They establish equilibrium at an Akashic level. By virtue of doing this, the body learns how to generate void energy, or Akashic energy, and then it is just a hop, skip, and a jump over to non-dual light. However, what gets left out on this discussion frequently is the fact that there are, in fact, four-letter combinations for equilibrium at the mental level, the astral level, and, yes, the vital level as well, performance of which also generates a kind of equilibrium within the elements individually. The four-letter combinations for the individual elements, in this case, fire, air, water, and earth, although there is a fifth combination for Akasha, which gets you very close to non-dual light, are important because the manifestation of a given element changes depending upon what level of reality you are dealing with. So Akashically, the letter for fire is in fact SCH. However, this changes when you go to the mental, astral, and vital levels. Specifically, at the mental level, it is the letter H. At the astral level, it is the letter S. And at the physical level, it is represented by the letter T. This is also true for all of the different elements. So you need to keep in mind that if you really want to work with elements in their pure form, you need to be able to generate those elements at all four levels of reality. This is extremely important because most people work with the mother letters when generating the elements. And this is valuable and works quite well when using the ball above head method or three-part concentration. Simply put, as you generate that letter akashically, it bleeds down through the other levels of reality. And this is a very effective way of doing this. However, to achieve the peak effect of a given letter for an element, you need to generate that element differently at each level of reality. So when you're truly generating elemental fire, air, water, or earth, you're actually holding four letters at the same time. Now, this is not an easy skill to master and certainly not something that happens right away. But after three or four years worth of practice with the letters, most people seem to be able to do this. What I can tell you from personal experience is it greatly enhances the effect of the letters and allows you to achieve more with it. So again, realize that even once you can do Kabbalah with a single letter key, there is still a huge learning curve ahead of you as you learn to employ these letters at the different levels of reality. So again, this is why I call them God levers. Because while I am not God and you are not God, the simple fact of the matter is we all have a little bit of divinity within us. And this tiny little bit of divinity allows us to achieve non-dual light and also allows us to act as a creator utilizing Kabbalah. And therein lies the true value of Kabbalistic letter practice as presented by one Franz Barden. So I'm glad you've enjoyed today's talk and I hope to see you soon. Be well.